That's the sheep head, yeah? It's mad, yo. Who would have thought? I'll be in Morocco eating sheep head. That's the sound of the sheep. This is why I get travel insurance, ladies and gents. We are going on an insane culinary adventure around Marrakesh. Mm. Well, I'm stuffed. I feel like saying halas, 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 halas. It's going to be epic. Stay tuned. Right, so boom, we are in Marrakesh right now at Jema El Fina. I'm with the main guy, Khalid. He's going to be giving me a food tour. I am super excited. He's going to be showing me around, you know, giving me a taste of Moroccan cuisine yes. in Marrakesh. With a real pleasure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real yeah, pleasure. Yeah. I'm very pleased and delighted to meet you. Mm. Right? Yeah. And to introduce you to our street food. Come on. Yes. I'm excited, man. And, uh, with a great pleasure. Yeah. It's crazy here, man. There's a lot going on, isn't it? There's a lot going on. Hey, Marrakesh is buzzing. Our first stop is a bakery, which is somewhat of a community oven. This is a bakery. Community oh, bakery. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about life yeah. because uh, in Marrakesh, yeah. we have two completely opposite cities right. existing in the same space. We have the old town, mm -hmm. but what is located within the city wall, the Rumpot. Right. And then we have the new section, which was built by the French. Inside the Medina, life will be centered around four elements. Wow. So the mosque. Right. First, then after we have the bakery. Yeah. The hammam and the fermenter. Oh, oh yes. wow. These are the four so elements. those are the four yeah. elements. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Come this way. They do it and they will bring it here mm. to be baked. Mm. This man is doing a family business. Yeah. yeah. The man who stops the bakery. Yeah. They didn't choose to this job to be rich. Why it's not a creative business. But it's, uh, he, I mean, exactly, it's, he's very appreciated mm. because when it comes to, to the bread mm. in our culture, mm. it's the basic food. Yeah. So we would not give our bread to be baked to somebody with not Of course, of course. We give it to the elders, to the babies. Of course. So it's a matter of trust when it comes to bread. Mm. Uh, people will have to pay something like 20 cents of one. Give him the one round bread. Really? It's, it's nothing. It's wow. almost free. And if you don't have enough money to pay, we do it all anyway. Because the main purpose of this man is not to have money, but just to help the community. Right. That's why if he is tempted by a piece of bread or a piece of uh, biscuit or mm. a mm. because money is normally dedicated to bread and evenings and afternoons to pastries right. and those biscuits. I see. If he is tempted by something, he has a few pieces. Nobody would complain about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hot water. So that's the, just flour, yeast, salt, same, same and hot water. Same ingredients. Yes. And maybe, but put in a few holes to avoid yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we're about to have, is it meshui? Yeah, meshui. We're going to have the uh, meshui, the roasted meshui, lamb. Roasted lamb. So it's like spit roasted lamb, which is like on a skewer, and then it's buried underground. It's like a clay pit of it, and the heat just cooks it through. Exactly. And you get... For, for two hours. For two, two hours. hours yes. So imagine the texture. It's yeah. going to be yeah. just fall off the bone very texture. Very crunchy on the top, but very tender. So Sorry. crunchy on the top and very tender in there Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. I'm excited, man. I love lamb. I love lamb. <laughs> That's the sheep. Yeah. It's mad, you know. About to try some sheep head. Yes. <laughs> That's us. Sheep head. Yeah. See all the membrane and the brain there. Tangia is the name of the cooking pot. It's also the name of the stew cooked inside the pot. It mainly consists of lamb mutton, other spices, which is slow cooked for five hours in an underground clay pit oven. I'm dipping the, the bread in the spices, yeah? As you can see. Mm. That sauce is rich in spices. And a bit of that, that fat from the meat as well is mixed with the... Wow, that is really good. Mm. And the lamb is so tender. Yes, exactly. It's just falling off like, like it just breaks off if you can see it. 
see that literally just breaks off. That is really good, man. That sauce as well, it's got a sharp flavor. It's almost like citrusy. It's got a bit of lemon in there. Yes, preserved lemon. Preserved lemon, no wonder. salted melted butter. No wonder. Yeah, yeah. It's got some the sharp, intense sort of flavor in there as well. That's really good, man. Mm. So that's the preserved lemon? Preserved lemon. And that's the garlic. If you can see the little bits of garlic there. Sorry, but it's absolutely delicious. It's really good, man. Basically, the sheep head. I'm staying away from the eyeball. <laughs> Go, man. It's actually not bad, you know. Look at the teeth there. You can see the teeth. So now we're gonna try the sheep tongue. So if you can see it, this is the tongue of a sheep. Wish me luck. So I'm dipping it. You have to dip it in the sauce here. That's the tongue of the sheep. That's this is cumin salt. This is why I get travel insurance, ladies and gents. A bit nervous. <laughs> mm. This is good. It's really good, you know. It's very good, yes. You get a lot of that sort of meaty fat yeah. from the meat itself. Exactly, yes. And you need that salt as well. Dry, dry sections, we have some fat. fat yeah, fat yeah. Absolutely. So Khalid is saying it's a combination of dry sections of the meat with the sheep head and some soft parts of that sheep head as well. It's really good, man. It's really good. The tongue ain't bad, you know. Basically, giving it a Moroccan kiss. Mystery itself. This is the mystery itself. Let me see it. <laughs> Khaled is loving life right now. This is it. <laughs> this is the meshwi itself, yeah? Mm. Meshwi is the most demanded meal when people are organizing weddings. So this is a, a, a proper exactly. occasional meal? Exactly, I mean, right. meshwi is... Is always, I mean, the, uh, on the top of the list. It's just so tender, so soft. And I don't mind the fattiness of it because it adds to the flavor. Yes. I really like it. Really like it. And as you can see, they serve tea, mint tea with this because exactly. sometimes, what did you say, Kelly? They get. Because, I mean, it helps you mm. to digest quickly. Mm. And to get rid of I mean, the the fat, mm. exactly. So minty, hot minty. Yeah. It helps. It helps. Mm. And of course, we raise our hands. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, pour in the, the minty. Show us, show us, so, Give, show us the technique. Exactly. Show, show us the technique. Yes. Please. Show us the technique. Oh, nice. Yes. Technique, technique. He's to done this before. Nice and to refresh the tea. Nice. Yeah, this is this is really good. Head. Who would have thought? I'll be in Morocco eating sheep head. <laughs> <laughs> So you have to haggle exactly. all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, haggling is the first nation sport. Yeah? Then comes football. This is a place adjacent to the souks, to the main street of the souks, mm. to souk Semarine. Mm. And uh, we call it Souk al Ghazal. 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 Here, normally, yeah. according to historians, yeah. we used to sell and buy slaves. Back oh, wow. In the wow. But now it's a place dedicated to, as you said, I mean, a thrift. Mm. Like a place dedicated to second hand clothing. Mm. Selling and buying of second hand clothing. Right. Yes. Oh, nice. So this is called the Royal Couscous, yeah? Royal Couscous, yes. 
vegetarian. Vegetarian style. Okay, good, good, good. They have holes. Okay, so okay, there's holes in On there. The bottom here, at the bottom, holes, so and it exactly. goes up and it steams it. Exactly. Oh, you're right. Caramelized onions and raisins. Wow. Is it? Is it? Lovely. And and as always, mint mint tea is ever present. The common denominator, and it has to be sweet because the sweetness is a sign of hospitality. If your host offers you mint tea, not sweet enough, you will think that he is tight-fisted. He is mean. He is mean. Back in the past, sugar and salt were extremely expensive. Wow. To health. It's very sweet. That means the hospitality yeah, exactly. is on point. Exactly. That's what we want. That's what we want, Kali. He doesn't bring you to any shoddy places. Couscous is a semolina mm. with the, the seven vegetables. Yeah. Or well, sometimes we do semolina. Yeah. Uh, steamed. Yeah. It has to be steamed. Right. With some caramelized onions and raisins. Ooh. It's a mix of the two. We call it the royal couscous. The royal couscous. Vegetables and caramelized onions and raisins, right? With chickpeas, Ooh. we call it the royal couscous. Wow! Yes. Wow! Wow! I'm and ready. I'll bring uh, the couscous here just to show you, please. The uh, fantastic. I'm the, excited. Uh, I'm super excited. Yes. I'm super excited. In both. Oh, oh really? The cake collection. <laughs> so apparently here you have to eat from your neighborhood. So I'm eating it from my side and Khalid is going to eat from his side. It's just, it's respectful. It's a respectful way of eating and uh, I appreciate this man. Like Royal couscous. Mmm. It's got a sweet fragrant flavor and that couscous is so soft and that sauce as well the couscous has soaked up all of the sauces so it's just, just got that just the amount of, of sauce mm. not too much not too much and not too dry that's right so, so you get the chance to taste the couscous and the sauce together yeah, it's not overpowering each other it's the not fighting against it the mm. it's good man it's really good I like it I love just the combination of sweet and savory. It's, and it's very rich. Very rich. The combination actually, of sweet and savory. Actually, for the Berbers, meat was something, uh, was a luxury. Mm. For the Berbers, mm. meat used to be like luxury. So they used to eat meat just like once a week. Right. But every single day, just vegetarians. Mm. Just vegetarian meals. Mm. That's why they don't suffer from any like uh, major health illnesses, issues, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like diabetes. And also because they are not sedentary mm. a lot. Because they're a bit like nomads, aren't they? Yeah, the semi-nomads. Semi-nomads, semi -nomad. yeah. They move from the plane to the heights and vice versa. Right. Yes. I really like this dish. Maybe. I'm not really, do you know, I'm not, I'm not usually a fan of um, <laughs> veg, vegetarian food. Yes. I always say, yes. who, who wants to eat rabbit yeah. food? Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But it's so fresh and it's so fragrant and it's got so many flavors going on. Absolutely. But it's a very Maghrebi. Uh, because of you got the fruits in there and and the sweetness of the caramelized mm. onions in there. Absolutely. These guys, they know what they're doing, you know. As you can see, he's just making a ring, just a piece of art, and he's using cedar wood. Cedar wood. Very this soft. is purple, black, and thicker. Very soft wood they're using. The rubber drill. Oh, is this is it, yeah. Very efficient. Very, very efficient. Very efficient. Is this the Berber way of making? Exactly the old way. Like the old way. Machines, yeah. yeah, yeah. Making, I mean, the, uh, like uh, two pieces. Yeah. Keep up skewers. Yeah. Keep up skewers using the same. Yeah. It's crazy. It's interesting, isn't it? Like how. Same technique. Look at that. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. They still manage to keep their traditions going, which is which is incredible, isn't it? Exactly. Yes. Mm, it smells good as well. All handmade as well. That's really good. Really interesting. Thank you very much, man. I mean, your necklace. This I, I wear it as a necklace. Smell. Ooh, smells good, man. It smells so good. Let's see.
So busy here. Yes. <laughs> Bikes run through here, cars go through here. Show me the video when you're finished. I will, man. <laughs> Say, say that again. Corn de gazelle. Corn de gazelle. Corn de gazelle. It means in, I mean, like French, uh, deer, deer hoof. Deer hoof. Deer hoof. Yes. Corn de gazelle. Or deer horn. De, say that again. Deer corn de gazelle. Corn de gazelle. Corn de gazelle. My French ain't bad. My French ain't bad. Corn, <laughs> corn de gazelle. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> The speciality here is also the cigar. Yeah, yeah, cigar, yeah. Cigarillo, cigar. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that one. I've seen that one. The one we eat, mm. again, oil. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we take the uh, kernels mm. or the nuts and we ground them. And it's uh, hot pressed. I mean, they are roasted. Right. So hot pressed, again, oil. Mm. Argan oil, uh, honey, mm -hmm. and almonds. Mm. We call it the bourbon Nutella. It's very nutritive. Very, okay. very nourishing. So this is the intense. That is, it's almost like ice cream. Exactly. <laughs> Look at that. Look at it. it shakes. It's just shaking. You see that? That is intense. Wow. Amelou. Amelou. Amelou with the avocado. Amelou with avocado, yeah. Give it a go. Mmm. Argan oil, almonds. And, uh, I was just about to say, it's got a very nutty, earthy flavour. And I, ooh, it's the silky smooth texture as well, and it just hugs your mouth. Absolutely. Wow, it is absolutely, it's like ice cream yogurt. So it's almost like a cross between yogurt and ice cream. Absolutely. That is really good. And not good sugar because it's no really sugar. sweet. No sugar. Really sweet. And everything is just natural. So what's inside it then? Is it just... It's uh, the dried leaves. Dried leaves, yeah. Dried leaves, same as the pastilla. Yeah. But with the, the stuffing of almonds and orange blossom water. Mm. Yeah. If you can see it there. When we have like uh, some guests at home, when we offer them some rock pastries. So the first thing they would pick is the corn de gazelle. Wow. That's the most delicate pastry. It's got a beautiful fragrance. Yeah, really beautiful. Light, fragrance. Very light. Yeah, very light, it's beautiful very aroma. I really like it. Right, so the sun is about to set. Yeah. My cheeks are getting puffy <laughs> from all they're eating, and Khalid is saying that we're not done. <laughs> God help me. I'm, if I feel like I'm in a boxing match right now and I'm taking hit uh, after hit, and we're just visiting more places as we go. He said he's got more, more places up his sleeve, so I'm, we, we, I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. Khalid knows the places, he's got the spots on Smash. Come on. Yes. <laughs> That's it, my new best friend from uh, Marrakesh. Shukran. Shukran. Thank you very much, thank you, thank you. Okay, so... <laughs> it's just clean with, uh, with onions. Mm. With grounded meat, yeah, and with spices. Okay. Yes. All right. Let me try it. Yes. Please. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. You like me to? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. You can record. It's recording, anyway. Mm -hmm. Very savory. Very bitter. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I like the spice, though. Yes. yes. Mm. We, we call it dynamite, but compared to. The like jalapeno, or like uh, it's it's very soft. Mm. It's soft. It's very very soft. Yes. Very soft. It's not too bad. Not my favorite thing I've had today. Okay. Okay. But it's different. Yeah, different. Exactly. It's different. It's different. Oh, it's it's something. I mean, just a few people manage mm. or can uh, can succeed this. Mm. That's why we not find it anywhere. So this it, is the it's spleen. Something special spleen. Spleen stuffed with the. Stuffed with spices, the spices, ground meat or minced meat, mm -hmm. and uh, onions. Onions. So 
bit of a sour tangy yeah. sort of yeah. flavour to yeah. Thank you. Khaled has brought me to a place where we're going to eat sardine burgers. Yeah, you can tell, you can tell here. Yeah, I mean, the walls are <laughs> painted in blue and you have fish. And the fish is all over, do you know what I mean? <laughs> sardine burgers. Let's see how it's yeah, written here. Give that little bit of smell. Yeah, yeah. Which means mince meat, mince, I mean sardines, yeah. with the salt and butter. So basically, you break the bread. Yes, exactly. And you open the bread. Get rid of this uh, fat here. If there is, if there is a lot of. And then you put some. This is the hot spicy sauce. Yeah, yeah. Sweet yeah. one. Yeah. Some onions. Yeah. The other section you put some salted butter. Salted butter. Yeah. A burger. And this is the sardines. Sardines, exactly. Wow. Okay. Doesn't look like it. It looks like meatballs. Yeah. This is like a good sandwich for people on a budget. Sardines are the cheapest fish. Yeah. Ooh, I'm stuffed. I feel like saying halas, 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 halas. Halas, I am finished. Mmm. Delicious. It's really, really meaty. It's got a meaty texture. It's, it's, uh, they, I wasn't they, expecting they it. it at all. But the problem with sardines is that the sardines contain like the small, tiny spikes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like uh, I mean, eating sardines. This is what what is bad about sardines. Mm. But they clean them before grinding the. Sardines. Right, so they, they get rid of the get rid of the, the bones. The bones. Right. And the small tiny spots. Marinate them. Mm. I mean, overnight. Mm. Marinate it. Mm. The day after they cook. Wow. So what do they do? Do they just roll it up into a ball and then grill it there? Yeah, just shako. Shako, just grill. They grill it. It's really nice, man. Very surprising. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting the texture to be like that. Mm -hmm. um, the rich in proteins. The rich in proteins, yeah. Omega-3. Omega-3 and proteins. Mm. Uh, average of uh, average points. Like of a kilo of sardines is mm. like uh, 15, 15 grams. Oh really? Yes, it's uh, really... Ah. It's surprisingly ah. good. Really, really good. I wasn't expecting <laughs> You wouldn't know that it's sardines. I'm being serious. You wouldn't even be able to tell. It's got that meaty sort of texture. It's not fishy at all. You don't get that fishiness from it. Which is incredible. Because I was expecting it to be a bit fishy because sardines, I'm not a fan of sardines. So, the funny thing about this place. Yeah. <coughs> hey, Lana. Yes. Yeah. The very funny thing about this place. Right. Is that uh, the business was run by the father okay. of Jamal. Yeah. So, the father was the uh, same as the son, so they are really nice, yeah. very professional. Mm. Uh, and it's not a lucrative business, by the mm. way. I mean, it's, a, it's a simple business, very mm. simple business. But the funny thing is about uh, the fact that they open early in the morning. Mm. And early morning, if you come here, I'm talking about like a, a few minutes before the first uh, call to prayer. Yeah. You want to meet here, people come in straight from the mosque, but also people come in straight from discotheques and pubs. Oh, really? Yes. So it's a very strange meeting. <laughs> that is insane. For, for the ones and the others. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. yeah. Very funny. It's an interesting mix. Exactly. So you got to mix it, yeah? And what's on top? Is that honey? On olive, top? Oil. Olive, olive oil. Olive oil, olive oil. And this is millet soup. Millet soup. Very good for the bones. Very good for the bones, yeah. Winter. Winter time. Winter time, winter. yeah. Because this is winter season. We're heading into this. Winter, winter season. Winter season. <laughs> <coughs> it's not 
bad. It's not, it's not. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. See, we got something like this in Ghana, mm -hmm. but we add sugar okay. and uh, evaporated okay. milk. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's more of a sweet, okay. Okay. rather okay. than just savory. Okay. Yeah. But. You can look at it right there. What's up? What's the dates for them? The dates are normally whenever we have soup, we put the dates in there. Yeah. Just to sweeten things up a little bit. Yes, exactly. Let's try it. Yeah. Yeah. With, the, with any type of soup, we taste the right. Right. source of, uh, source of uh, sugar. Right. It's quite a light consistency. It's quite grainy, a little bit mm -hmm. grainy because yes. of the millet. millet yes. Yes. So it's a, little, it's a bit of a drainy, sort of itty bitty sort yeah. of things in there, but it's not so bad. What I think it's like oats without sugar, but Absolutely. much more refined. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, not bad, I guess. I'm starting to get full now. <laughs> the energy level started up like that, and then after the mishui, down, finished. Absolutely finished. To try a wood in jam. Yeah, wood in jam. Wood in jam. Wood in jam. Here you doing? Okay. Here you doing? Made just from herbs. It's made from herbs. Cinnamon, ginger, galanga, clove, uh, cardamom, yeah. masses, uh, nutmeg, pepper, nigella seeds, uh, wrigleys. Wrigleys means uh, hibiscus. You can take the hibiscus. hibiscus also, yes. It's really, really, really. But yeah, that's this called anis. It's hago. Right. This is exactly what you need after you've had a day like we've had, just for digestion. Yeah. This definitely has that slight bitterness. Yes. But it's, it's, yeah. it's good. It's like, I mean, it's yeah. good. It's, good. it's like quite medicinal, isn't it? It means it's, it's efficient. It's efficient. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, like I said, for the day that we've had, it's very efficient. It's quite medicinal. It's got that bitter aftertaste, but okay. it's good. Yes, man. Okay. But it's good, man. Very greasy. So this is um, just to help. This soft. Is, yeah, it's very sweet, quite soft, silky smooth texture. But it's very good because it kind of gets rid of that medicinal bitterness of the drink. Right. This is exactly what you need after you've had a day like we've had, just for digestion. <laughs> the food that we've had has been pretty epic, and I can finally say, halas, 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 halas. It has been too much. I couldn't have done any more dishes. I am so, so full. But we, we thank God. You know, God bless Khalid. He's been the man. I'm done. Don't even want to try it.